G'day everyone, it's Cherry here from Suck on Fly Traps. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting the differences in the various forms or varieties of Saracenia flava. Now, varieties are basically naturally occurring forms of plants that you will find out in the wild. So most of these are examples of different varieties of Saracenia flava. So hopefully this video will help you make a more informed decision when you're looking for your next Saracenia flava and hopefully it will give you an appreciation of the differences between the varieties as well. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting quality cannabis plant videos and don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications of my new videos. Okay, so this first Saracenia flava variety that we have in front of us is called a Saracenia flava. The variety is called Ornata. Now, Ornata are characterized by having this gorgeous deep red variegation and also having this deep red stripe of color going down to the center of the hood there. And they contrast beautifully against this almost fluorescent yellow tubes. They're absolutely gorgeous to have. Look at that. I'm just going to give you another shot here of what it looks like, looking at the other varieties in the background. Now, being a Saracenia flava, they do produce their biggest and best pitches in spring. It's the first, say it's about 10th of December now, and it's well and truly past spring, and you can see here how the plant has displayed uh, these beautiful early spring pitches. And as the season progresses, it will produce pitches, but they will become smaller. And that's what you're seeing right here with these pitches down here. But I just love the contrast of that deep red variegation against that, as I said, almost fluorescent yellow tubes and uh, hoods. They really are gorgeous to have the Saracenia flava ornata. Okay, so next to the Ornata, we have this beautiful specimen of North American pitcher plant. This is another variety. Again, it's a naturally occurring form of plant. This is called the Saracenia flava. The variety is called Ornata. Sorry, not Ornata, Capria. Now, the Capria is basically known for having this copper colored hood. Now, look at not only the color of this hood, but look how big it is. It's, it reminds me of a, um, a sun hat that you would have uh, for a lady, a lady's sun hat, oversized. Now when you compare that to the Ornata, you can see that there's quite a uh, difference in the size of that hood. And not only that, you can see here how the Ornata does have a bit of a lip here, but it's more pronounced in these uh, Saracenia Capria variety. Look at that, you see that point there? Now, these are again are early spring pitches because it's a Saracenia flava variety. They do produce their biggest pitches in spring. They're quite wide. That's probably the largest pitches I've seen. That there, that picture there is probably about, say, five centimeters across, whereas this one over here is around about four centimeters. So, yeah, they, they really are beautiful um, Saracenia flava. They're very commanding. I would love to see what they look like out in the wild, um, these plants. So I'm just going to go over here and look on the other side. So this is what the Capria looks like. You can see those beautiful copper coloured hoods. And then just coming down here, you can see how the, these plants here are around about two years old. I bought them at the same time. I started off with one rhizome. And you can see here how they've really flourished in this pot. I'm going to have to divide this plant and also that plant as well. So it just goes to show when you give it good growing conditions, they'll reward you with beautiful, vibrant growth. Now we have had a lot of ash out here due to bushfires, as you probably have heard. And a lot of that ash has sort of fallen around the edges of these hoods. That's where the nectar is concentrated on. Therefore, that's the reason why you can see this ash that has fallen around the edges of those hoods. Okay, so here in front of me, another one. So 
So here in front of me is another variety. This one's called Maxima. And I absolutely love this variety. It hasn't got any variegation in there. But I do love the subtle color differences between the top of the hood, which is an orangey color, or almost bronze colored in some of the pictures, and that basically green picture. There is no veins in there, but I just love the simplicity of it. As I said, I love that contrast between the top of the hood and the color of the tube. Now the actual hood itself, it's quite pointed when you compare it to the more round Capria hoods. It's not as orange colored or bronze colored as a Capria, but as I said, it's the lack of variation, variegation that makes it so appealing. I love the hoods, how pointed they are and how elongated they are. They really do overlap the mouth of the hood, more so when you compare it to say the Onata over here. All these plants were bought at the same time, around about two years ago, and as you can see they really have grown strongly. I will have to repot or divide these plants in the next growing season. But uh, yeah, definitely a worthwhile variety to have in your collection. Over here is a Saracenia flava, the variety is called Ruglii, I think that's the way you pronounce it. And again, it has produced its biggest and best pictures in early spring, as you can see right here. Look at the contrast there, that deep red coloured hood, or the base of the hood there, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I just, I love the simplicity of it, and the striking contrast. Absolutely beautiful. So these um, pictures, they're around about, say, 65 centimetres tall, and um, you can see here, this one over here is developing just now, and you can see how it's got that faint red colour there in the hood. And as it gets older, of course, it will become this beautiful deep red colour. A very, very strong grower. Again, it's around about two years old. And, uh, yeah, beautiful to have. The actual pictures here, they're around about, so that one there is around about four centimeters across. Not as wide as the Capria over here. They're probably the largest that I have in my collection. But nevertheless, they are gorgeous. And I love those almost fluorescent green tubes. Look how beautiful they are. They really do contrast with that deep red collar. Okay, so moving along here. So this variety here is Rupa Corpora. All these varieties here that I've pointed out are all naturally occurring. So if you were to go out in the wild, you would see these varieties growing. Now, this Rupa Corpora variety has been with me since the start of my nursery. And I really do love their variegation. I love that green and red contrast there. I just love that deep red variegation there in the hood. So that's a brand new picture here. The more light you give these variegated varieties, the more uh, more vivid and more contrasting those colours will be. That's what you're seeing right here. As the picture gets older, those red veins become more infused into the hood. And that's what you see right here. And those that red doesn't sort of become remain vibrant, it sort of becomes more uh, a dull colour as it gets older as well. Yeah, so this Rupert Corpora probably produces around about 65 centimetre high pitches. And uh, again, it's producing its biggest pitches because it is a Saracenia flava. It is producing its biggest and best pitches. Um, well, it does produce it in spring. So moving along over here, so this is a hybrid. This is a cross between two cultivars, cultivated varieties. So this is a form that you probably wouldn't see, or you wouldn't see in the wild. This is a Saracenia flower. The form is called Red Tube, and it's crossed with Nalata Red Throat. 
it's a very very stunning uh, cultivar that's a brand new picture there you can see how it's got that beautiful um, yellow edges on the hood and as it becomes older it will become more infused until it becomes a deep burgundy red as you can see here on the left so basically um, two two cultivars here so basically um, they've been a plant form has been selected and crossed and um, it ends up with this and then to maintain this um, hybrid then it's vegetatively pro propagated meaning that you just simply divide the plant basically they're just clones of the parent plant and that's how you maintain the hybrid and down the base here I've got another cultivar Venus's flytrap this is called a, a red I think it's called a red piranha I just love those leaves how they got that beautiful red or oh, sorry green tinge and as they get older it's like this plant over here they sort of have that same sort of color change as they get older those leaves okay so there you have it a bit of an idea of the different varieties of North American pitcher plants um, they all are naturally occurring and um, there are differences as you can see in all of them differences in the shape of the hoods shape of the pitchers and also the colors but yeah hopefully this will give you a more informed decision when you're looking for your next Saracenia flava